Now this episode is mostly gonna be for people who are in the sound industry when you're out on film location and filming where you might be a boom operator when you're using something like this here. Now the place where I work, I needed to buy a new shotgun microphone. So I needed a lot of stuff for it, so I bought the kit package. So I had all the stuff I needed for it. But in that package, something came with it that I had an issue with. So I made something in 3D and 3D printed out just to solve that tiny little problem. Because what they've made is a little hassle to get on and off and it may even damage the cable. So there had to be a better way. So stick around and see what it is. Now some of you out there are probably wondering, what am I looking at? Well, you're looking at a mic holder and an XLR cable taped together. Now people do this so the cable doesn't hit the mic holder because the shotgun microphone is very sensitive in sound. The shotgun microphone itself here is a DPA microphone. But there's a company called Recode who are specialized and professional in making all sorts of things for microphones like this one here. And this is why we're gonna talk about this special package here where the problem lies with this little thing here. Now the way this thing works is you need to screw these things onto the XLR cable first, like you're seeing me doing right now. Then we have to connect this to the boomstick and screw it on to the mic holder. But I find it to be irritating every time. And every time you have done a job, you have to screw it off. And sometimes this orange thing disappears because it keeps falling off. And now the XLR cable is just dangling with the plastic thing attached to it. So we have to take it off. But the problem is still the same. It's still dangling. And having it like this will damage the cable quicker. So I thought to myself, there had to be a better way. Now if we take two of these and put them together side by side, it actually looks like what I need as a design. And it is curious why they didn't just make something like this and include it into the package. And this is why I've made this here. Now the idea behind this is to have them both connected together so we don't have to worry about the cable dangling. Now the other side is a little taller and that is to have a better grip on the mic holder. And as you can see here, we're going to print it out as one piece. Now for me it only takes one hour to print it out, so it depends on what 3D printer you have. Now the XLR is a little wider than the other one, so there's a difference in the holes. Now I'm just going to use some screws I had laying around here. And we're just gonna tighten them on both sides. Now I've tightened the screws hard, but I can still move it around in case it's in the way of the microphone. Now I decided to make one more design and this one would be a clip-on where you don't have to use screws to get it on. And here's what the clip-on design I made looks like. And if you notice, it has round edges. That is to make it easier to get it on. Now I've made it really tight on purpose. That is to make certain that it's really stuck on it. But you can still move it around so it's not in the microphone's way. As you can see now, I don't have to worry about the XLR cable getting damaged because it'll always be on the mic holder. And now it will be easier for every time they have to take the boomstick on or off. Now this clip-on design is still in an experimental stage. So we're gonna have to see how it turns out in the future. Maybe the plastic will wear off or something like that. So we have to be patient and wait and see what happens. But if you're one of these people who need this, don't worry. I left a link down there where you can go to the site and download both version and you can print them out as many as you want. Now I went onto the internet to see if I could find something similar to this. Now I kind of did find something, but they wouldn't fit onto this here. But the ones I did find that fits this model here, well, let's just say the price is a little too high for my taste but I do prefer 
the professional equipment of course. So this I've made here is just an option to choose. And so once again, we're at the end of this episode. But before you go, you should check out this episode right here because on that episode, I talk about the marker holder I made for the clapboard where you can 3D print it out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.